I'm just cut, cut me right off there. <laughs> so basically, you could translate it in like one of two ways. You could basically say it's as if looking at looking for something that, like in particular, he is glancing at the different houses and um, stores. Or more directly, he's like, is he looking for something? He keeps on glancing at the stores and the houses in a way that would make you have that kind of like conclusion. So basically, this is like a conclusion he made based off of the last information, but he's not certain of it. But, Understood. Like, hi. Um, do you have to recognize this kanji? Yes, so we are saying tomeru. I tomeru, perfect. Can you read this line for me? Neburi wa ashi o tometa. Neburi stopped his his foot or his Perfect. leg. His leg, yep. And next is aya aya shige, which is like du dubious or suspicious. This is a na adjective. Aya shige. Aya shige. Aya shi. Can you read this for me? Ayashige na shokudo no mae de hashi o tometa. He stopped his foot in front of a dining place that is suspicious. So he Perfect. stopped in front of a suspicious dining place. Hi. So with the de, we're really focusing on the fact that he stopped. Um. If you do ni, it, you, there are certain contexts that you could have ni in this location. Um, it would still be grammatical, but it kind of like feels like weird and they like being very specific. He's stopping right here in front of this location. He's not going to move a muscle. He's going to stay here is kind of what it starts to insinuate when you use ni in that location. But he might mm -hmm. move a little bit. The very specificness of his location doesn't matter that much. So yes, he's here and he's stopped. Um, I just thought I'd point that out that theoretically you could see me here. But de is a little bit more common and natural. Do you remember how this guy's read? It's read as basho. Perfect. Basho. Basho. Short. How do you read this? Sakasho. Good guess. So if you actually look at the previous kanji, it's ba with this kanji, then sho for tokoro. So if you look over here with Saka, Hi. the second kanji here is actually the first in the previous one. So how do you read this? Hi. Saka ba. Hi. So you probably have seen the Saka kanji before, pronounced as sake, which is wine or alcoholic drink or whatever, Japanese wine. So Saka ba is a fancy way to say a bar. Um. I, I, I would say it's not super common. Uh, iza, iza, yakana, or something like that. I don't remember the top of my head. Is is more common for bar than sakaba, I think. At least when I went to Japan. Um, and next is yagate. So yagate yeah. has a in the end kind of meaning, but it also is a little bit like faster than it feels like in Jap in English. So like hey, at the end, finally. Like so, it's not really like. Felt like a long journey or necessarily because it can mean like soon it just kind of means okay we're at our next our final destination basically so whether or not it's a fast or slow is kind of insinuated by context so it doesn't really matter how you translate it it doesn't actually insinuate a specific time phrase you got there it just means okay finally we're at the location but without the co negative connotation i guess the time connotation that english has with that can you read this for me? Hi. Yagate Sakaba no Maede Ashio Tometa. So in the end, he stopped in front of the like the winery or the, the Perfect. drinking place. Yep, the bar. Perfect. Um Iken is a way to say one house or one building. Iken. Just a random counter basically. Okay, Iken. so let's go read the line from the book. Yakete iken no yash o ya ayashi kena sakaba 
の前で足を止めた。He stopped his legs in front of a suspicious looking、um, bar.、Um, so let me try it again. In the end. Well, when you said ah,、uh, that, that, one... that illustrates the ikken part. Because in Japanese, plurality is not there. So sometimes, so a lot of times, it could be like he stopped in front of multiple bars. So ikken's being like, he stopped inside one specific bar, his kind of. So, a bar worked great I, for the, this translation. I, I accidents, accidentally got it correct. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he finally、okay. stopped in front of a certain bar. But it's not a bar, it's a secret、so. meeting place. So. <laughs> okay, do you have any guesses how this kanji might be read?、Um. She got it. Good guess. It's actually s a g a r i s a g a r i So, this is to like take a step back, kind of s a g a r i For example, it showed up in this sentence, which was Can you read it starting over here? This, this clause. Um, Oku, Oku no Kurai, Oku no Kurai. k u r a g a r i Heji Jiri 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 to Sagate. Hi. From within the shadow, Okuno Kura Ga Garie. I forgot what Gari e means. So, yeah, this is, e but... is basically the same as ni, so it means towards. And、um, kuragari so... is like the darkness. So, towards the depths of the darkness, I slowly sagatte. I see. So, I slowly, I slowly retreated、Hi. into the depth of the darkness. Perfect. Nice. Okay. So, this one right here is sagaru with the exact same kanji but with severed hiragana. This can be read as oriru. Sagaru, oriru. Sagaru is taking the step back, meaning oriru is literally to descend down. So, oriru, sagaru. And what is the one to lower an object?、Mm, I'm not sure.、It's、like, I lower. I lower a book from the bookshelf or something like that. I forgot. I, I don't know on top of my head. <laughs>、mm, hi. Probably Oridu could be used for that.、Um, it might use different kanji. There's multiple、um, descending, lowering kanji in here in Japanese. Hi. So this one here, ending with Didu. How is it pronounced? Oridu. To hi, oridu. descend. Hi. Perfect. And can you read this part in bold? Yes. Q na saka o ori hachimeru. Perfect. What does this mean? To, to, to begin the descent of the steep slope. Perfect. Nice. Can you read the sentence for me? Sakaba no hai guchi wa sok oda. Hai, good guess. This is actually、Di. iri. So iri guchi. But you're correct. That kanji can't be pronounced as hai, like in hai du. Hai.、Um, so iri guchi wa sok oda, meaning、hai. the entrance to the bar is over there. Perfect. Is ya.、Yeah. Hi. So, how do you read this word? Do you know? Nidan. Hi, Nidan. So, this is like two steps,、uh, but kind of insinuate steps going downwards. Two steps downwards.、Mm. Nidan.、Um, and then we'll go way back this way. How do you read this kanji? With the,、uh, with the garu? Sagaru. Perfect. And how do you read it with the ridu? Oriru. Perfect. And now let's go read the line from the book. Iriguchi ga 
道から二段ほど下がっている。はい。So, I. So, it's not totally using I here. <laughs> um, in here, it's kind of like. We? Talking about a location kind of here. So, it's kind of a weird.、Um, you do. It's like the.、Uh, uh, uh. It, it is currently descended. Might be how you、I、might see, think I about see it. I see, I see here. The ga mark iriguchi. So,、okay. iriguchi is doing the iru. Okay. okay. So, the entrance is、um, sagate iru. The entrance retreated. The entrance retreated. And before that, ni dan hodo. Up to two, two step. So the entrance retreated two step from the Michi. So、okay. he's saying that the entrance is two step down away from the, from the street level. Yes. That's basically what he's saying. Yes, that's exactly what、it's、he's a, saying. It's, it's, a, it's a descend, it's a heat, it's a descend into the entrance. Yes. So from the street, you have to basically take at least two steps downwards from the street、um, in order to reach that entrance. So rather than the entrance being right here, where this is bar, it's two steps downwards. Hi. And that's the reason why he s a y it's, sh it's, it's shady looking. It's so, Yuri. So, 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 I see. I see. I see. I see. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Do, 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 do. How do you read this word?、Um, kubi, kubi tsuri, tori.、Mm, is it tori or does it have rendaku? Rendaku, so dori. Hi. Kubi tsuri, dori. How do you read this? Utsu kurai. Hi, utsu kurai. And this guy? Mise. Yep, Mise. Perfect. Okay. How is this guy read?、Um, ori. Hi, Hi Ori. And how about this guy? Ah,、uh, Sagate. Perfect. So earlier we saw this word ending with ba. What is this? Sagaba. Yep, Sagaba. Perfect. Which is a bar. Okay, so let's go read this line from the book. Kozo, koko de matte ore. Nebri wa soi yu to sasato. Something done. Hi. This means you're right.、Um, this thing done is the last part. It means stairs. Um, so the first part,、uh, the first part right here is kai. Kai, kai. has the meaning behind、um, stories, like in buildings. So this right here is a Nikai building. So, you can say it steps to another level, another story is Kaidan. So, Kai, Kai is the story, and the Dan is the steps. Kai. Kai. So, it's Sato Sato Kaidan o Orite、um, Sakaba ni He. Now he's going to, so it's haite ita. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so this is all you. This, you know, this is you that we've seen multiple times that has this kanji. So you. In that way, right? So you. Kind, kind of. So that can be used to mean that in certain contexts. And here it's being more literal, with so being the previous mentioned item, which is. Kozo, koko de 
。待っておれ。So, so this means, こぞ、ここで待っておれ、と言う。So, so is a way to just take what was said earlier and put it in your sentence without having to say it. So, so the sentence that never said was, boy, wait here. Perfect. However, what is the ore? Hi, ore, ore as in... He talks like an old man, is what that is. So, oru is the verb form here, and oru is the same verb as iru, which is to exist. So, he's turned it into oru because he talks like an old man, and then he put it into imperative form, which is adding e to the end of it. So, like, taberu, for example, turns into. Tabe. De? Tabe de? That sounds wrong. Tabe. Tabe ne sai. I gotta check. Tabe do. Why does that sound weird? But basically, it adds e to the end of it. So, oru became ore. So, he's、Hi. ordering him, saying, you, you wait here, boy. You better wait here. Matte、hmm. ore. Oh,、wait、it's do. Do is for、um, do verbs、Roll. and e for. The other guys. So it just, um, so oru becomes orimas. So oru,、Hi. even though it's the same as iru, is not a do verb. So same meaning, but different conjugation. Order.、Okay. He's ordering. Okay, so nobody say that. And then Saki. No, Sasa Sato. Sasato, Sasato is a sound effect describing、Meaning. the speed in which he orited, which is basically he does it pretty fast. Kind of does it immediately.、Hi. Doesn't pause at all. He says that and goes boom. He speeds his hours. Hi. He g o down into the bar. Hi. Sakaba. And he hi te ita. Now, this ita from, come from Iku. So he, he left. He left、yep. the place. He hide there and then he's gone. He left Khan, the main character. Bye bye, Nebidi. Khan's all by himself. And since this is in the third person, it does not have the insinuation of him leaving and not coming back. That is a first person thing. Which I mentioned.、Uh... So here it just means the ita, it just means he leaves whoever is saying the sentence. Um, the who is not the person thinking it because the whole book's from Khan's point of view, it's like his thoughts and stuff. Um, so yeah, perfect. Okay, so our next word, Denga, Denga is brick. Denga, brick. So, can you read the sentence for me? Yeah. レンガの壁,壁に杖を立てかけた。He, he,、um, he, かけ he, he leaned the cane, the stick against the brick wall. Perfect. Can you read the sentence for me? よりかかる is、um, to rely on. Basically, it is similar to that.、Um, it actually is to lean on something, which can mean to, to rely on or depend on, but I don't think it's totally meaning that in this context. It's more just the lean on in general.、Um, yorikakaru. Um, so, your job、Hi. now is to remember the yo. Yorikakaru. Can you read the sentence for me? No. Yo jimbo wa. レンガの壁に寄りかかった。はい。The bodyguard lean against the brick wall. Perfect. Okay, so let's go read our last line of the day. 俺は外でレンガの壁に寄りかかってまった。I Was outside.、Um, I was waiting and leaning against the brick wall 
uh, outside. Perfect. Okay, so that is where we'll end for the day. Um, any questions before we go, other than the difference between Tazanedu and Kiku? <laughs> um, no question. Cool. Then I'll see you on Friday. Bye at our uh, normal six. Yeah.